Hello and welcome back to my uh, videos. In this video I want to speak about the Discord and how I work with the message as a bot on Discord. This bot will not send a direct message, uh, not upfront. I will uh, just show how we can reply for the user if it's uh, sending ping and pong and how we can just send a message out uh, on the channel when the bot is coming online of course. And then I will just try to, to show you how uh, we can tell the channel if the user is uh, it's coming online and offline or if it's just uh, and, and if it's changing status and something like that because if you join the channel that's the one thing but if you remove it from the leave the channel is the second thing and if the status changed from online to offline or online to idle then it's a it's a third thing so that's what I'm going to speak on today and I will show how that's working by coding the, the bot for, for Discord, of course. And um, I think that's all you need to know before we are starting here. And uh, if you are kind, you can just click on the thing below in the right corner and then subscribe my channel. I appreciate that so, so you can get the newest content from me uh, when I'm published out. If you have any questions, please make a comment below. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible, of course. And if you need the code I'm working on, you can just download from my GitHub profile. The links will be in the description below and then it's completely free to for using. Thank you so much and let's go ahead to start coding. The first thing we're gonna do uh, right now, it's uh, from the previous video we have all this information about what we're gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is I really want to copy this uh, general text. And uh, when we're done here, I want to to going inside and um, uh, and and post for the channel, I will use a channel uh, like we have the token down below here. I will use the process env and then uh, this called uh, channel id, and that's what I'm gonna add. I will put this one inside my. Uh, env file and uh, when you download this code it will be empty but that's what I'm gonna do when you have copied your ID inside the env file then we can just remove this one and uh, I'll just sending the message out so what we're gonna do now is say but channel cache and then we get the channel ID what we want to work with and then we want to send out the message and what I'm gonna do is say everyone, everyone, the octopus, the, the bot is online and ready to help. And let's close it down and restart the bot. And basically, we need to, we want to check about it's it's, it's working. Yeah, and now you can see because we are getting online, it's uh, saying the bot is online and ready to help. So the message push out to everyone or something like that. It's basically working now. And I think the next step will be if I'm saying uh, ping, then I will think about the, the Hair Octopus Junior should be responded by Pong. Um, so so let's, let's code that and go back for the data. So what we're gonna do down here is see a button and message and then we need the message here and uh, if the message content is equal to ping then you want to say msg reply by pong so simple it is to build your first command so let's restart it and run it again Let's go inside here and you can see we are online now and so say ping, then it's response like pong. So now we can communicate with the bot based on the user we are working with. Uh, and then you can just code up all the commands you want. It could be something like server status, uh, let's, let's say uh, one, two, three, four. If we have this kind, we can say server is one command, one command and status, is equal to uh, argument and then the 
second one should be the one, two, three, four. Is the server ID something like that? And that's the power uh, strength of that. I'm working like the like a full stack developer, software developer, um, data scientist, and everything. Uh, you want to, uh, I think, uh, API integration specialist, something like that. And um, I use a lot of uh, language and uh, I use a lot of uh, development tools. So for me, it's very nice to have a place where I'm just can sending the command in and say, give me the status in this server because it's it's crying a little bit. And that's what I'm I'm trying to, to do with this uh, bot coding. And uh, when I'm learning something new, I will share with you so everyone can code, uh, code to Discord and use Discord more than adjusting a gaming platform. Let's go back for the editor here. And uh, the next step we want to, to work with should be when a member is joined and when a member is left from the channel. So that's what we're gonna do now. So let's say the bot on and then we say gold member and then we have a uh, member add and we just say member and going inside and we need one more we have remove and uh, what we're gonna do it's basically shaking this one and cut it down here twice and then we just say and then member user username whoops has joined this server uh, And then I'll just copy this one and say has left it says yeah, left the server and then have a a bad smile. And it's pretty simple here, so just uh, that's running it up and quit it and then run it again. And then we can just see this one. So now you can see we have the Discord application inside here. This is the one. I'll just minify that and I'll just say I'll just leave the server now and yeah I leave it and that's fine because I have my join request here but then you can see pnkdev has left the server and uh, that's of course that's a little bit sad but if I'm joining it I'm going inside and join it and then we can see I have joined the server again so now we have the bot to, uh, to react and sending message if someone is leaving or is joining the server and then we have the when you type ping and then it's respond by pong and of course we have when it's coming online the last step I promise you to, to work with is when the status is going online and offline and that's what we're gonna work with now so let's go back for the editor in the editor we want to say type a bot sorry and on and then we want to say something here and say uh, old member yeah I'm just starting to say update here old member new member and then we just go inside and if old member status is different from new member status and then we are going inside here and uh, we can just say bot and then we're just sending out the client again and what we're gonna do here is just change it to is now the member status whoops new member status and we're only interested in if um, the new status is online and it's not idle but for now that's pretty fine so I'll just say yes and restart it up and we are going inside the browser again I'll just reload then you can see what's happening 
you can see we have joined the server and everything is fine and something is wrong so it's just going back for the user here yeah something is wrong i have making a syntax error so let's see what happening yes i have this one and uh, let's go for browse again reload and see what happening now it's offline and online if it's going for idle it's still will uh, work in that so if i'm let's say i'm just status here and uh, i'm online but i can be can i change that yeah idle then you can see it's now idle and if i'm here it's, it's not in disturbed mode and then i can just invisible and now it's offline so that's how it's working and uh, of course we can make a filter like so we don't get spamming when people go get idle and something like that because people is running uh, on and on and off uh, for the for the server so what we're gonna do now it's um, we, we basically just say um, no we just keep it I think that's it and then you can just thinking about stuff and then you can make your own decisions about how you want to work with it thank you so much for working with me today and i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner below and press the link then i'll be very happy like and share this video if you want and i really hope you want uh, to to smash the comments button if you have any questions let me know i'll try to answer as best uh, best option i can and uh, if you need the code you can go in for the description my link to, to my github will be directly in the, in the description thank you so much and hope to see you next time Bye.